Hey guys, it's Nikki. I wanted to come to you one more quick time this week and do the big booktube newbie tag. It's happening. This is already stupid. Question number one is why did I start this channel? I have this goal. <laughs> Actually, it was my goal last New Year, and I completely bombed on it, so this year it's happening. Um, and actually, it's two goals, because one was to blog more and to do more videos, like on YouTube. And this is actually, like, a newer channel that I'm posting to right now. I do have another channel. It is my author <laughs> YouTube channel. Yes, I am an author. I write contemporary romance and I do have some paranormal romance stories up here in this head of mine that will eventually come out hopefully later this year. But in the meantime, I am reading 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 like my one of my big goals this year is to read a lot more I know like oh, some of you have like hundreds of books on your goodreads goals or whatever my goal is only 50 if I can read at least one book a week I'm going to be happy I think to motivate myself to do a lot more of that is to make these videos I want to motivate myself to read more of the books that other people are reading because I feel like when other people are reading the books that you're reading, it's just a lot more fun. I'm in a local book club here that really kind of reads a lot of general women's fiction, and that's something I never would have read had I not joined this book club, and we've read some fantastic books. Like, I literally never would have read this book. But it was so good, y'all. Like, so good. Like, if you read even just, like, a little bit of the first chapter, it's gonna, like, grab you by the heartstrings and just crunch it already right off the bat. And so, of course, I had to read this book. That's why I started, because I want to branch myself out. I already love romance. I read a ton of it. I used to read a lot of fantasy. I haven't read a whole lot of it lately, and I want to read more because... That is truly, like, at the heart of what I really love to read. I've never been a big YA person. Of course, I've read the Harry Potter, most of the Harry Potter books, and I'm going back and rereading the ones I haven't read yet. I've read The Hunger Game, Divergent. I mean, I, I do jump on, like, the big bandwagons because I feel like if, like, that many people are talking about books, they must really be good, and I do enjoy reading. I just feel like there's not enough love and human connection in the world anymore and I want to put some of that back in. What are some fun and unique things that I can bring to booktube? Number one, I'm older than probably most booktubers. I am older than I look, which is fine with me. Some of you want to take a guess at how old I am, make a guess in the comments. I feel like, because I do read a lot of romance, people tend to stereotype that women who read romance are kind of dumb, uneducated, consuming mommy porn, or whatever they want to call it. I'm not uneducated. I have a master's in psychology. I am a supervisor in a social work setting where I've been employed for 10 years. And <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not a dummy. I, I just like reading romance, and I like reading smutty romance. I like reading fantasy. I like reading all that stuff. So here I am. Why do I love reading? Like you get lost in a world that isn't, okay, I don't want to go into too much detail about my professional life, like what I do for a living that pays my bills, but it is stressful and I just see bad things all the time. Like, I see the worst side of humanity. I, I read to escape, and I write to escape. Like, I want to get lost in a world where the good guy actually wins, and people 
start from just like some little nobody to saving the world like who does that right like that's fantastic what book or series got me into reading i guess to put this in a context you kind of have to go back to what point in my life we're talking about because i feel like i have phases when i was a kid I read the Sweet Valley High and the Babysitter's Club and Goosebumps. I might be giving away my age now. R.L. Stein, Paula. I kind of like got away from it like in high school. I don't feel like I did a whole lot of reading just for fun. Maybe like the R.L. Stein were, were my high school years. But then I got into college. One book that got me into back into kind of reading and especially reading romance was The Bachelor List by Jane Feather and I I like this book so much like I uh, this was like my first real kind of taste in romance and there were actually three books in this series there it starts with like one sister and then it follows like the next two sisters and it is a historical romance which I don't really read anymore. I'll do historical fantasy. Paula Jeff Wheeler. I really got into reading again when the whole Twilight craze came out. So I did read all the Twilight books. That really kind of got me back into reading. What questions would I ask my favorite booktubers? Uh, I think one question that I would be interested in is like, do other people have Spotify, like, playlists for the books that they read, but, like, songs that remind them of books? Like, for example, one of my very favorite authors is Danica Dark, and she has the Crossbreed series, and a song that I always think of her books when I hear is Heathens it's by 21 Pilots. I always think about the characters in those books in that series when I hear that song and so I just wonder if like other people do that. I use Spotify but I just wonder if anybody else does that or am I completely weird and alone in doing that. What challenges do I think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Number one I feel like finding the time to do it but as with anything it's never about having time it's about making time and you make time for the things that are important to you. Reading is definitely important to me. When did I start reading? When I was a kid. I mean, like I said, I read Sweet Valley High and The Babysitter's Club and Goosebumps by Earl Stein and I don't know, back in the day. Like, I guess middle school is when I started reading. Where do I read? Mostly laying in my bed is where I read, but I really listen to a lot of audiobooks. I do that like when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I'm driving literally anywhere, when I'm cleaning the house and all of that. Audiobooks like no holds barred or whatever, but <laughs> reading like actually reading, I like to get comfortable and lay in my bed and what kind of books do I like to read? Got it? Okay. Alright guys, that is all for my... Well, hi! This is Logan. Logan, are you gonna say hi? Or you just wanna kiss on me? Kiss my baby. This is Logan. So, 
thank you guys i will talk to you later comment subscribe <laughs> introduce yourself like i want to hear who you are i want to hear what you read and logan does too we'll see y'all later Zoe, girl, Zoe, girl, Zoe, you want a treat? She wants a treat? Does she want a bone? I got her going, didn't I? I was just kidding, bub. I don't have a bone. I don't have a bone. I don't have a bone. I don't have one. I'm just, I was kidding. What have I done? Oh, oh, I'm so rude. Oh, how dare you? Rude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Logan. Logan. Oh my gosh. You big old brute. Ah! We're gonna fall. Oh, Logan. Okay. Zoe, put my little skirt on your little girl. <laughs> She's like, you know,